star Ooh. player. <laughs> <laughs> Interacting with the anemones. It's awesome. I think this whole uh, outcrop here had the same yellow corals all over yeah. it. Yeah. Take a look around. Yeah. See if there's any other Let's varieties. Keep going. Okay, Ooh. Wide. It's like a. Oh, never mind. That's. Nope. Just another shrimp. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're getting a similar community on this side of the seamount. I want to say from what I've been watching, a little, little, little bit more diversity, but that's that's just for me watching on and off for the past hour or so. We have some... Um, Metallogorgia here. And are we still on the slope or are we on like top of the slope? Oh no, that's a crinoid. We um. are just approaching the top of the slope. Got it, got it, got it, got it. We have those same stalked crinoids from, um, oh gosh, I can't remember <laughs> how to pronounce it, but I, something like Phyrenidae. I need to find that, but yeah, super similar communities here. Same colors anyway, I don't Yeah, a whole lot of yellow. except the color. Yeah, yeah. Kind of a yellowish stock and a mm -hmm. reddish mm -hmm. feather. Feather star on the sediment that I forgot to mention. But yeah, a lot of cool things. So do the flytrap anemones eat our carnivores, like their namesake, or do they just filter feed like other anemones? So I want to say that they're usually just um, filter feeders. Um, but yeah, let me, I can, I actually want to learn more. Ooh, um, could we look at this here? I don't know oh if we yeah. can back what up a bit. What is that? Wow. Yeah, it looks like it's like some sort of cut off something. <laughs> Somebody snipped a sample before yeah. us. Mm -hmm. They've been here. <laughs> this is an unexplored? What do you mean? Yeah, I don't even okay, see it bro broken in. off anywhere. It's like it it's gone. Looks like it's... Um, oh. Ooh. Um, while we have... Looks like a broken stock from a stocked crinoid, maybe. Um. No? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I don't think so, but it could be. That's really kind of thick. Looks like it has a larger diameter than the crinoids that we've been seeing. There's also some colonization at the bottom, probably some, um, Interesting so how clean the break it is. Yeah. yeah. Maybe some like really maybe there's some really high currents going on over here. Yeah. Could be a coral that broke off too, I don't know. Almost looks like somebody uh, broke it off like a piece of celery. Yeah, let's see if I can yeah. have my full zoom there. Ah, Daniel's okay. in the building. Wow. Welcome Daniel. Yeah, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, great zoom, thank you. Great. Did you all do your introductions already? Um, I don't think we did actually. No. I think we were waiting for you. Do you want to start? <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, sure. So welcome aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus here today. We are currently exploring area of the ocean uh, within the exclusive economics of the United States. It's part of the ocean called the uh, Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument. And nearby are the Kingman Reef and Palmyra Atolls. We are exploring an unnamed geo, and down below you can see all sorts of aquatic life, ranging from crinoids and sea stars and other amazing oddities. So I am your SPL host. My name is Daniel. Now I'll pass it along to the uh, other people on SPL. Um, if it's, sorry, we were figuring something out with technology. Um, if it's my turn, my name is Sarah. 
I'm a scientist. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm a recent graduate from my undergraduate college career. And yeah, I'm a scientist and helping figure out what we're looking at here in terms of biology. Um, oh, and it looks like we have a pretty purple coral to the left, probably. Um, you want to take a peek? Yeah, sure. I want to say probably a Victor Gorgia, but I know that they were saying there were some purple plexorids around. But okay, yeah, video, go ahead and zoom. They're usually really pretty. That's cool, yeah. One of the few um, coral species that can get this color. Oh, and a sponge, too. All right, I'll continue. I'm Dwight Coleman. I'm the watch leader. Uh, I'm a marine geologist, geophysicist from the University of Rhode Island Graduate School of Oceanography. And I'm also the expedition leader for this project. Yeah, that, that definitely looks like a Victor Gorgia in my somewhat expert opinion. <laughs> um, I awesome. am Guadalupe Zapata. I am the data logger for this expedition. I am a current animal science major, undergrad at Tuskegee University from Gaston, Alabama. Ooh, and then we have a, uh, nope, that's a different angle. Yep. Awesome. Oh, and one of those black feather Ooh. stars. I got an ID on one of those um, earlier. Let me see if I can find that. But yeah, I think we have a good enough picture here. But if you want to zoom in, you can. <laughs> up to you. Yeah, you can, if you can zoom in further, go ahead. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I want to get up over this little lip here. It's just yeah. starting to get behind a bit. Sure. Uh, full wide, please. Yeah, people were asking in the chat if we ever get a chance to go up to the top of the ridge to the north, there might be uh, some different currents there that might have more abundance of life. Um, yeah, so right now we are, let's see, we are at about, yeah, 110 meters. That's a pretty good, I would say this is a pretty good depth for diversity as we can see in this shot, actually. Wow, yeah, that's cool. Lots yeah. of, <laughs> lots of corals on this ridge. It's like an oasis. Can do, yeah. uh, we can do like a partial zoom and we'll just come up it. Okay. Yeah. If you like. You ready for that? Yeah. So ridges like this, I believe it's a lot easier for things to propagate here because of um, the way the currents kind of break up at these ridges. Oh, and we're getting some um, of those pretty basket stars that we were seeing before. Oh, that's what those are. Yeah, those root looking things. Those are actually sea stars. Um, no kidding. Those reminded me of tree roots. Yeah. I had to remember, this is under the ocean. Yeah, they're huge. Um, but yeah, they have a center point. So all of those stars are coming from a disc. You call them what Central stars? Disc. Um, just basket star. Okay. I forget, there's a more specific ID for it. Whoa! Oh, that's fine. What is this? Oh my gosh. And what the would the they rock or the animals? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I'm these kidding. rocks are pretty impressive. <laughs> I think, no, but actually I was a little in awe by the rock formation here. Yeah. I was say no, this is <laughs> beautiful. If you have any if you have any insight about the rock formations, please, because I have no idea, but this is a huge, huge coral. I must say, yeah, that are is, they that is bleached or Yeah, this are looks they? like they might be dead. No? Oh, yeah, they are. Wow. Wait. Yeah, they are. I don't see any polyps on them, and they're very clearly down, but... Um, Boy, do a really quick I wonder if it was one massive one that fell. Yeah, I was about to say, this could have been a really, Zoom really in old quick there, coral. But, uh, yeah, we can... Pretty far it. behind, so I'm going to have to... All good. Yeah, this is definitely dead. <laughs> I tried. There's some. There's a little squat lobster taking refuge in it, but you can zoom out. Okay, pull okay. back. Oh, Can we go back to the layering of the rock a little bit? We don't not down. Um, Coming I don't up. Know. I, do you have to get up, get going, or can I you? I do, or we can just move the ship back if you if you want to um, see it. But that ledge that we came up. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit far back. We'd have to stop up. Okay. Um, 
Let me just. Uh, Is there much in our sonar, or are we definitely up on the top of this thing? Now? Like here, I can show we're, it to you quickly. Oh. We're definitely yeah, yeah. on the top yeah. now. Yeah. If you can get a couple nice. snaps of this, this is the yes. sort of layered geology that we saw on yesterday's dive that looked like um, yeah, I just stopped sedimentary rock, but fine. then I saw something that made me think it maybe it isn't sedimentary rock. So it's if you want to do yeah. a geological observation, Zoom maybe in it's a little. Um, just a layered, probably or sedimentary lamp, rock like limestone or shale or mudstone. Ooh, like a little fishy. So what are you looking for? Does it look like anything in, uh, oh, in Utah? Like little, what is that little <laughs> uh, worm? A few things look like this, but not much. Uh, I find more rocks that look layered like this in West Virginia. A lot of limestone yep. out there. It is what it looked like, but then when we came up on top of it and I saw like some of this layering that was on the at the surface. So if you rise up, Mike, and kind of look along the top of this feature. Yep. It almost looked like some of these layers were broken apart, and then it looked a little more glassy to me. Yeah, it does. Like right where the lasers are about to touch. Yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. Can I'm you zoom to get in? You in tight yeah. there, yeah. Yeah, like second. zoom where that laser is, because it, now it all of a sudden looks basaltic. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, I see it now. Where? Okay, go ahead and zoom. Kind of have a bit of what looks like. Concordial flat fracture. Yeah, it does look like that, doesn't it? That's that definitely not that sedimentary that rock looks looking. Yeah, like that's igneous rock to me. I yeah, know. <laughs> Strange. So from much my, for theory. From my like So could it be knowledge. that it was volcanic activity? I don't and know. Why don't we? Slightly? Um, why don't you stop the ship? I think we might want a sample here. Ooh. They're stopped. Um, can okay. you move? Can you move them back yeah. to the east of uh, 20 meters? Yeah, this is an interesting ridge, and I think after this it gets kind of flat and not as interesting, so maybe we'll spend a little time here. Um, and I just want to say very briefly, I saw someone in the in the um, comments message that these corals, these dead corals, might be um, a type of scleractinian, scleractinian or hard coral called um, enlapsamia? Yeah. Enlapsamia. Can't can't pronounce it, but um, I, I, I'm not entirely sure just because we can't really see the polyps or even the polyp structure. It looked like it was a little bit more like um, tree branchy rather than polypy, if that makes any sense. But they're huge and they're most likely, they were most likely super old and maybe just got knocked over by a super strong current, which is really cool to see. Yeah, some people in the uh, SBL chat uh, suggest that it may be compacted sediments from the reef and uh, based off of some of the fossils in a carbonate outcrop earlier, it kind of looks dissimilar. What was the last uh, rock sample we collected? I feel in the middle of something, don't worry. Tell me I don't know, I was just, I like to label ahead. Okay. Um, maybe this might be helpful. <laughs> So can you repeat that, Daniel? Some of the viewers at home suggested this looked like something they saw earlier? Yeah, uh, like compacted sediments. And they're looking at one of the uh, uh, carbonate outcrops from earlier that may have had some fossils in there that look similar. But they also say that, yeah, there's a lot of uh, the ferromanganese crusts on top that we are seeing right now. Yeah. And that could be just what we were looking at was the ferromanganese coating, the patna. Um, the last rock sample we got is a medium rock. So I think very we only descriptive. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> well, another description is is dark gray with dark orange patches. <laughs> okay. Nice. Um, what time was it collected at? Six forty-seven. UTC time? Yep. It's about four hours ago almost. Four yeah. hours, yeah. It looks like um we only got two rock samples. So we're due? Definitely due. Yeah. <laughs> That's surprising. We have more of like coral than rocks. Hmm. It's 
So, Dwight, where do you think a potential sample would be? Rock sample? Well, we... Thank you. Thanks. Might just grow up one. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta mute my mic. Can you get real quiet for a second? Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Samantha. You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I made it myself. <laughs> Grandma's recipe? Yeah. <laughs> now, I actually do have a treat for a different watch that my mom made. Um, and they've been in the freezer waiting for a special time to come no out. Way. So, yeah. <laughs> Future watch. We're only a weekend. We gotta, gotta save a treat for later. Gotta save it for when we get really desperate for treats. do we want um how how do i define the units here <laughs> centimeters can Cent you, centimeters can yeah. you like circle a piece <laughs> joseph you're muted just in case thank you lasers, okay so it's like uh, what, 20 across right so adam just gave you a little circle there <laughs> Half the diameter. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, the shrimp goes. Hang what on, little doing? buddy. <laughs> Start, start to slurp. Yeah. Start to slurp. <laughs> okay. That's ten percent. All right. Up to six. Sixty percent. Uh. Oh, there we go. I can't wait to look at this under a microscope. The spicules, is that the name of the mm -hmm. punch? That's going to be really cool. Awesome, thank you so much. Go. That was perfect. That was sample 050. Okay. Roger, thanks, 050. That's a slurp off. Beautiful. It is, There's. it's in the jar. So I guess it's just hung up in the... I can give it another bump there now. Maybe a little, yeah, a yeah. little bit, but I don't wanna... Chop it all up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was worried about it getting broken up. Hmm.
Oh, we still got some sponge in there. On your claw. Oh. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Magnum claw looks like a turtle. Oh, belt. oh, oh no. No. Oh, no. no. Suck, 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 suck. <laughs> Beans. <laughs> okay, we got it. I think there's a piece on the porch, maybe? Yeah. There's a very fi fine line there because stuff in the jars. Uh, yeah. Starting to break up. Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can turn it down once it gets in there. Yeah. No, oh, made it in. Oh. Oh, what? what we there is one more, but that's okay. Now it's on the rock. <laughs> uh. Chasing after a dust bunny. <laughs> I think we got what we need. All right. That's the slurp off. Porch out, yep. Porch come out. Fortune. If you could stow the eggs. Yep. We should have hold music for the <laughs> magnum. <laughs> yeah. How'd that Beatles song go? No. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> what Beatles song? We all live in a jealous song. Yep. <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that song. I think it's a great song. There's a time and a place for it. <laughs> Now's the time, Adam. Now's right the time here, and right this now. Is the place. <laughs> Where's that one? Is it now? So, science once said uh, the arm is stowed. There was a greenish coral in the back where we had just didn't take in a closer look. Sure, yeah.
Yep. Yep. Shipped. There's green coral back there, Robert. We're looking behind the sponge, right behind it. If you circle around to the left. Yep. Science, can you confirm that that? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we have to get a little closer to see if it is. But that was the one we were eyeing. Well, I mean, I think the color kind of changes the yeah. closer yeah, you get to I it. Yeah, I don't think it's green. Yeah, it doesn't look too green. Okay. Yeah, we can move on. Thank you. You want to get a little stretched out before uh, making a ship move? Yeah, my muscles are kind of tight. <laughs> oh. Every time. Ha ha. <laughs> What? Oh, wow. Is that a crinoid? Yeah, it is. It looks interesting. <laughs> it's just a crinoid. It's just a crinoid. Like three of them. Three of them with two Some anemones. Two anemones on there. That one's a popular spot. Anemone. Anemone. Five zero. Do you think those fly trap anemones are filter feeding and eating the coral? Because their their mm. tentacles are kind of pointed out. Yeah, that's a great question. I wonder. I'm not really sure. It really looks like there's some corollary going on. Uh, yeah, for or sure. Because right yeah. around them, it's like. But I don't understand off. how. Yeah. I don't know where their mouths? Question mark fish. Yeah. What is that? Ready for a move? Oh, what a is fish. That? Oh. Is that yeah. a rat tail? Oh, there we go. Oh. Bridge nav. Thing. Whoa. There's a big coral. Two zero meters, two five zero, please. Coral, coral grid That is here. a very two big whoa. coral. Do we have a possible ID for it, Jules? For the coral? Yeah. Oh, baskets are. Um, oh, wow. I think it's a primnoid. Thank you. Yep. Those are the most alien-looking things. Oh, wow. Wow. It's wow. beautiful. Ooh. Got some Victor Gorgia mixed in there. So it says that Venus dry flap, dry fly. <laughs> no. <laughs> the dry flap. I don't want to try again. Uh, try flap, you can. Try flap. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so together, everyone at once. The Venus, Venus fly, fly trap, trap. <laughs> anemones are predatory and feed by waiting for animals to bump into their tentacles and surrounding their mouths. Okay. So maybe they're just like positioned there. But we've seen like a like million times that the yeah. coral right above them has been. Maybe they smother it. Maybe that's what's happening. Yeah. Uh, um, maybe just yeah, the maybe it's thing. smothering. Yeah, I mean their mouth um, is not on right. the coral. Yeah. And they're, you know, suspension feeders, they're not Oh, Victor Gorgia? Or purple like sorry. Uh it's hard to tell from right here. Oh man, we're getting into some big corals again. Yeah. If you have a corals. chance to zoom on that thing, that'd be cool. Zoom in, Dave.
That looks more like the plexorid. Yeah, purple plexorid. Thank you. Is the skeleton, it looks like the skeleton for the plexorids are white, right? Yeah. For the Victor Gorgia, is the skeleton also white? It is white and just the polyps are purple, whereas this one has this like purple coating on it. Okay. There. But both of them, the skeletons part. are white. Yeah. Interesting. Um, yeah, I was going more on like, branching not branching exactly but like shape oh this is the same one we saw mm. yeah below. yeah um hemicorallium um hold on Yeah, I I think um, like the the polyps are positioned differently. If that makes sense. Yeah. Could I be wrong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but As we're learning. Yeah. And that just isn't that the most important. That thing? felt like a plexorid. Yeah, like, okay, do you see what I mean? Like, a bridge, no? Oh, yeah. Whereas okay. the oh. other one was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This like, is like crinkly. Another, like, two zero Whoa. meters, two Whoa. six zero. Wait, what is that? Whoa. Sponge. Yeah, let's look at that. In the graveyard. It's like, is that yeah. graveyard? To our RV, we're going to do two six zero for the next step after this. Oh, you're right about the white skeleton, too. What? That's a this alive? Uh, uh, it doesn't look super healthy. <laughs> it's a hydrate zone. It's yeah. <laughs> what kind of sponge is that? Um, mm. it is a. <laughs> Demo, demo sponge, possibly. I think we're good on that zoom. Yeah, a, a, a demo sponge. Which one? I don't know. Who's to say? It's good to leave, you know, leave a little mystery. Yeah. Now, it's hard to believe that this is a sponge. <laughs> you yeah. also, yeah. I, I don't think it had so many uh, pores, right? Um, I think... We're going to do a 260. No, no. I, it's a demo sponge. It's uh, it's different from a glass sponge. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Do you see? Uh, it's periphera and then demo sponges before glass sponges. Found it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Jules. Yeah. So science, we have about a half an hour before the end of our watch. Was there anything that we wanted to complete before the next uh, watch comes in? Um, we zoom in, Dave. Oh, more demo, demo sponge, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I'm still looking for that C pen, but it doesn't seem likely that that will be happening. Okay. So, you know, like an if we encounter sediment kind of thing. Okay, cool. We find the sea okay. pen 15 minutes before the end of watch. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Zoom out, Dave.
more basket stars. Primnoids, plexorids, dead coral skeletons. We get a zoom on this thing. Zoom in, Dave. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Something new. Can we get even more zoom on the rock? I'm honestly more interested in this, like, uh, the purple. Wispy. What is that? Yeah. Yeah, the wispy one. The ship has stopped. I feel like we haven't seen that. Those don't look like stoloniferans to me. What is that? Huh. Whoa. Like it looks most like um, Chrysogorgidae to me, but purple. Uh, but purple. I mean, yeah. zoom out, Dave, and we get a better spot here. <clears throat> I have a question. What yeah. might cause so many coral skeletons in one place in the deep ocean? Shallow water bleaching wouldn't affect this depth. So what might cause such mass death. Yeah, I mean, I suspect that currents could be a factor. Like, a lot of these corals that have toppled over that we're seeing are, like, very large. Right. So it's it's possible that they were so large that a strong current knocked them over. Um, we're, I mean, we're they could have right sustained damage over the course of their lives, which... Um, caused the colonies to die. Um, right. You know, there's a lot of potential explanations for that. Okay. <coughs> Maybe it is still in a friend. Uh, uh, what's going on? Do they have, do they, are they kind of solitary or do they grow on branches? I know them to be solitary. Yeah, they there's some that are definitely yeah, growing on I, the rock. Yeah. But there's like uh, it could be that they colonize some other coral or something. Maybe. Uh, can we get closer on on this right here, please? Is that full That's zoom? full zoom. Okay. There you go. Zoom out. Oh well, look at look at this. <coughs> Growing on a. Something so it's else. growing on something else, yeah.
Okay, zoom in. Yeah. Still different. Look at this. Yeah, okay. I don't know they could grow like that. Well. Huh. That's so interesting. Alright, I think we got an idea on this. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What do we think it is, Jules? Uh, Spillinifera. Can you repeat that real quick? It's S-T-O-L-O-N-I-F-E-R-A. Thank you. Yep. And the other purple coral next to it, was it a purple plexarid or? I think it was a plexarid. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll confirm in a second. Wanna zoom in, Dave? Faraday. Yeah, Ferreira. Okay. Adam, what do you think about the Victor Gorgia? Do you think that was a Plexarid or Victor Gorgia? That one looked more like Victor Gorgia to me. Yeah, it kind of did to me too. Yeah, chat agrees with you. Let's go with Victor <laughs> Gorgia. Okay. Noted. Okay, ready for a move? Certainly. I'm ready. Bridge nav. Ready. <coughs> two zero meters, two six zero, please. Okay, y'all. We're going to uh, get to the top during our watch. Yeah. Still not, still not to the waypoint, though, but we can't have it all. <laughs> we, uh, can't have everything you wish for. Unstow the Irish flag that we're going to plant up there. <laughs> Do you have any left? We've planted a few now. <laughs> <laughs> Only with Telestrator. <laughs> I feel like Just last... Just to clarify, this is not our land to claim. Last time... I was on, I, uh... <gasps> Ignore that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore the giant arrow pointing to <laughs> the coral. Just wait, last time I found, like, all these emojis and other things. <laughs> there's emojis? Somewhere in what? here. Where? Yeah. Yeah, no, Dave emojis. doesn't like nope. it when I play with oh, the okay. menus. No. Nope. <laughs> I had to go back and reconstruct all the menus because somebody oh. got in and deleted all of our, a bunch of our tools. Oh, wow. To put. <laughs> oh, no. And no there's way. Adam just teaching Jules no. the trick. Just Adam's the trick. Put I've emojis. actually gone down this path. Can I just have one? No, I've gone down this path. It's, it's Dave, the road it's to good. ruin. <laughs> nope. Uh, Don't do it. Don't do it. Just an Irish flag. Fuck no. no. Just no. one <laughs> Irish flag. No. <laughs> Listen, but I want to but, so bad. <laughs> but it's when a tool we come for science on another watch, okay. you know, to relieve. <laughs> 
then it then it's on them, you know, that they okay. let us do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put in the flag five minutes before our shift. It's a tool for science. <laughs> do whatever you it's want on your phone. It's a science tool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, why, why oh, well. would they give us emojis if not for science? That's very true. <laughs> That's the entire the ESPN graphics package is on there as well. <laughs> yes, so. that's oh, what I'm remembering it now. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's really yeah. cool. Jules, are we seeing yes. multiple flexarts? Yeah, oh. lots of, so many flexarts. <laughs> so many, many. Thank Have you. we thought about and a, a uh, and some basket stars? A lower stars. third for this for our broadcast. What do they call that thing that scrolls along the bottom? Oh yeah. Uh, generally, it's called a ticker. A ticker. Yeah. Yep. A lower third is uh, any graphic that's in the lower third of the screen, but generally is a an identifier. Ticker is generally in the lower third as well, but lower, I almost out of safe area. Ooh, Ooh garden really up that's pretty. pretty. Oh yeah, look at the big uh, hemi. Hemi corallium. I think the next watch is going to have some fun up here. Yeah, I think they're going to have a lot of fun. I just want to find my hatchet fish again. <laughs> <laughs> we do final step of the night for us. Bridge now. 400 meters at 0.8 knots. <laughs> two zero <laughs> meters, two six zero, please. I'm gonna come in here when we're not doing anything to look at these <laughs> emojis. <laughs> I won't let her, Dave. I'll Please don't. I'll, I'll stop her. Yeah, it's it's not like it like clocks out. You can, <laughs> it's on. <laughs> the uh, menus that Dave was talking about are are there all the time. It got totally out of hand uh, last season. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I, I, the, the, I really. They were deleting will. tools off of our. Uh, toolbar in order to put poop emojis and stuff on. Oh, it. wow. <laughs> and, okay. And so I had to go back, and then I had to reconstruct the entire toolbar and okay. resave it. And, oh, well. Uh, All right. Well, I won't so do that. Please and don't. Apropos of nothing, Understood. I was not on last season. So <laughs> just, just, I just want himself. this in the record. <laughs> but you have knowledge of, of this. Here, if you feel the urge to use an emoji, put it on a post it note. And then you can either put it on your screen or I can hold it in front of the screen. Thank you. For Robert. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> we can put it on the stick of science. Actually, where is the stick of science? We have a stick of science. Yeah, Before we had the telestrator, we had a stick to point at things. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. wonderful. It's Bring that back. It's stuck in the corner. Oh, Roger. It's stuck in the or we corner could back use the Doc Adam's Ricketts like used a, like a stuffed latex glove what? on a stick. Oh. So it was like actually pointing. That's amazing. <laughs> so back in the early days, <laughs> we had we had they had artists who would paint the sea <laughs> with yeah. on the cave walls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go on. No, we had we had CRTs, and you couldn't use a laser pointer on the CRT because it would reflect back in your eye. Oh, What's yeah. a CRT? A cathode ray tube. Oh, Roger, yeah. And I know that. The old uh, monitors that were super <laughs> thick. Yes. Yeah, monstrosities. <laughs> and so that and so heavy. laser pointers were not legal back yeah, then. Yeah, banned. So you had a stick of science then? Well, no. Then then we got flat screen LCDs, and when you try and point a laser pointer to a flat screen LCD, it just disappears. You yeah. can't even see it up there. So that didn't work. So that was why we had the stick of science. I see. <laughs> when I first moved to Woods Hole, I bought, I believe, the last of the thick TVs. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, had to get help, like, moving it into my oh house my and everything. <laughs> and, like, the next month, you could not find one. Yeah. Like <laughs> okay, one more step. Bridge now. We can add two zero meters to the step two six zero. 
Thanks. I really want to find that C pen. Yeah, that would be amazing. What are these guys doing down here? That's a great question. Is it a percentage? Oh, yeah, it kind of looks like it. That one certainly does. Actually, that one looks more like a mm. crinoid. Pool. Yeah, crinoid chiller. Cool sponge. Donut sponge. You know, zoom in, Dave. Ooh. Cool. The sponges are weird. They feel like <laughs> they evolved all these different shapes without any <laughs> sort of environmental pressure to like converge on on a good one you know they're like well we're flat we're tubular <laughs> we're all sorts of stuff it feels like they just kind of like felt like it like <laughs> it was very scientific um and is there any other organism with silica skeletons hmm. that is a great question Besides freshwater sponges, which we definitely know exist. There's yeah, plants like that have sponges. silica. Yeah, like grasses. I don't think freshwater yeah. sponges are made of silica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, shallow water sponges in salt water aren't either, right? It's just the glass sponges? Just the glass sponges, oh, the hexactonellids. So the one, the <coughs> radiolaria that we saw the other day that it looked like from oh, Mario Kart. Oh, you're right. Those are silica. Has silica. So no sea pens anywhere here, huh? No, not that I can see. Yeah, What's that on the left of the rock? Kind of a curl. They'd probably be straight up though, wouldn't they? Ooh, what is this? Oh, <laughs> oh. That's a big sponge, yeah. Looks like a big sponge to me. Oh, are you looking at this this guy here? Oh, oh yeah, that's a uh, Penatula. Penatula. I think other things I thought might have been interesting or not. Okay. What's the big thing you want to look at? Um, there's a sponge. Up. Oh. Oh. Nope. Sorry. Oh. It's up that way. If I just had a poop emoji to show you. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. And we're finishing this ship move, so look around to your heart's content. Thank you. That's a beautiful sponge. That is a very beautiful sponge. Could it be the exact sponge I'm looking at in this guide? <laughs> Ooh, that'd be nice. Looks like it. Oh, uh, uh, zoom in there, Dave. Um. Oh, um, could it? This this has the little. Uh, <gasps> How it? Yeah. yeah. It does. Is it uh, the Friella again? 
That feels so French to say. <laughs> it does. Sounds like French. <laughs> I think it's that again. This cannot be a costume, man. Eh? The hair looks too funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it must be, unless there's other sponges that have that association. The other one didn't have as flared of a top, though. That's true. <laughs> this one has style. We have chat asking if um, maybe Dave can let Joel play with the Telestrator when this watch on blue water, maybe. <laughs> I <know. laughs> Using I don't the think shark or dolphin emoji. I don't think it's nope. going to happen. I don't think it's going <laughs> to happen. Sorry, chat. So, nope. nope. I appreciate your support. <laughs> yep, face in the sponge. Yeah, Green ID like. chat says left, oh yeah, left for yellow. Yep. Yeah. No. Cool. That's kind of like the first rule of being on the ship is don't make work for someone else. True. Right. True. Yeah. Thank you. Very true. Don't want to do that. Thank you. But can we rearrange the basket <laughs> of the RV? <laughs> <laughs> now that I say that, I realize. Is that a small piece of gorgia behind the sponge? I think you're right. Or, well, it's a little hard to tell. I can't quite it. see from this angle. Oh, we're going to get a look down inside. <gasps> yeah. All the way down. Tune in next watch. <laughs> <laughs> now we need some, like, Twin Peaks audio over this. Ooh, I really liked that show. That's a weird one. That is such a beautiful sponge. This is new favorite sponge. Maybe new favorite invertebrate. No, just kidding. New to Brinks, <laughs> have my heart. Wow, it's so big. Wait, wasn't it the lettuce sea slug your favorite? Yeah, uh -oh. but they're closely related. Uh -oh. <laughs> To sponges? <laughs> <laughs> it's a new to Brinks. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a, a house divided over here for jewels. Multiple invertebrates. I'm an invert fan. Oh, look at that. It's 11 Greetings. Looks like a tornado. For me. Yeah, it Ooh, does. Yeah. I can't wait to look at this under the microscope. I think it's going to be so cool. Nobody home down there. Nope. 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 Darn. I think I would be suffering without this swivel chair. Yeah. I love the swivel. It helps, yeah. Turn. Yeah, little holothurian.
Annie was telling me the other day that you can actually eat uh, oh sea gosh. cucumbers. Yeah. How did you describe <laughs> the... <laughs> it was yeah. very specific. Yeah. Um, it tastes like rubber and mucus. Oh. Yeah. 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 Like rubber tasting. like that was marinating in mucus together. and you eat it. That's what it tastes like. Oh. With ocean salt water. Ocean seasoning. Oh yeah, With ocean season. seasoning. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. First and last time. I can almost taste it. Oh, you didn't oh. like it? Huh? No. no. Okay. <laughs> I'm, hey, listen. You're, you're eating <laughs> but if you want me to make <laughs> and, and the insides of urchins, so I thought there was no. nothing beyond you. Sea <laughs> cucumbers is common. No, it was, Draw it the was, line somewhere. Yeah, huh? yeah. So... It's looking very interesting. Yeah. Just we like go that. on some tangents right here. here. Just like this. I don't yeah, this know if I like. could. We actually made it at the beach, fresh out of the water, and that's what it looked like. No. <laughs> that's a yeah. hard pass. I draw the line there. Yeah. Um, and I am happy for the people who enjoy this. I know. And it is not my cup of tea, I would not say. Actually, you can make a delicious tea from it. <laughs> this looks kind of like a tea. Ooh. It? Oh, that's a whole one. Right? Um, yeah. Some of these, I mean, that does, that that's looks pretty. That's not for real, is it? That can't be for real. I mean, even oh, with the no, insides? No, nah, like we, we actually, we clean the insides. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. It's just the skin that we Yeah, I feel like you get a whole lot of sediment with a few It actually sounds like a very cool dish. <laughs> it does, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at this. But I'll take Annie's word for it. And that <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah. If you want me to make the dish for you, let me know. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we've been seeing a lot. Yeah, you're gonna have a good watch. Yeah, you'll come off at three probably or something. Uh, okay. Hey.
Uh, okay, we're ready in the front here if the back row is good to go. Uh, we're, yeah, we're still kind of settling in back here. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Go full wide on the Zeus, please. All right. Well, good morning, 12 to 4. Let's see. Uh, good morning. We don't have morning. Daniel yet. Um, good morning. Annie was going to go look for him. Uh, everyone else here? Yep. Looks like it. Yep. Yep. So we're at the top of this. Well, not quite at the top of this guy. We, we're going to keep proceeding to the next waypoint, I think, and just mm -hmm. doing sort of general exploration as we go along. And uh, uh, I guess try to keep the ship moving. But, you know, want, we want to definitely stop and zoom on things and um, stop the ship if we have to for sampling. Or thing. So we have a bunch of bio samples. Um, we're still looking for a certain type of coral, I believe. Yeah, a sea pen. Sea pen. Um, so we do we have a move in right now? Oh, uh, we do not. But okay. I can put one. Science, you want you ready to go? Yeah, we're good. I think. Okay. Cool. Bridge nav. Good morning. Can we move five zero meters at two five zero degrees and point two knots? Thank you. Yeah, let's take a look at some of this coral. Yeah. Sure. Um, looks like a lot of flexorids still, which seems to be the dominant, one of the dominant species of this community, which is kind of what we saw on the other side of the seamount, so it makes sense. Ooh, a lot of flytrap anemones on that one. Go if ahead, get zoom, a zoom in. There. <coughs> wow. Okay. That's a lot. I think that's the most I've yeah, seen that's on a coral. Um, we also have some feather stars. We have that black feather star there. Um, and we have some brittle stars, but a pretty big coral. It looks like that coral is all like one big colony, which is really incredible. Could be a super old coral, but Look yeah. Look at the little shrimp go. The shrimp. Yeah. I think I'd like to go back to that layered ridge. Uh, we stopped the move. We stopped the move, and then are moving the ship back a little bit. So that means we should be able to get back to it. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Still coming back, but I can get a view of it now, and then so okay. we'll, we can look around, and we might need to get it to go a little bit further to sample I'm on the end of the leash here. But uh, so I should I'm have enough to see. This is. So if this is potentially, what do you think, how do you, well, how do I wear this? How old do you think this rock is? I guess like the ledge and the rock that we saw on top oh of boy. the ledge. Oh boy. Um, if you could ask mm -hmm. me. In general, I think these seamounts are 80 to 120 million years old. Okay. And that's the volcanic. That's pretty. That's the volcanic age of the formation of the seamount. Mm -hmm. So then the. Car the carbonate or the sedimentary rock that formed on top of it when it was an island um, and a shallow reef uh, would have would be would have formed after that. So right. probably you know 80 to 60 million years old, something like that, until it moved off the plate, cool. moved with the plate and sunk below sea level. Sounds like it's really old, so but that's really actually. Old, yeah. I mean, but that's actually pretty. 
I feel like that's really old by some young. standards. Yeah. It sounds kind of young by Gila, period, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, uh, so uh, Dwight, are you, look, are you looking at one of these like small, small ones up on the top of the ridge there, or something along? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure yet. I, I, I mean, ideally we'd pull a pull a plate out from this, like f try to find something loose that's in situ, embedded in this yeah. face, but that obviously could be tricky. So then I would look for something maybe that's broken off. What about along the bottom? Yeah, something that might have flaked off. Yeah. Actually, yeah, these look, the, the idea is that it's in situ, that it looks like it's in situ, like yeah. not transported, like let's say there was an earthquake here and some rocks fell down slope or something, you know? Mm -hmm. Looks like some sort of eel at the bottom, just saying. Yeah, those, those rocks at the bottom of this look pretty cool, actually. How? They're huge, What's though. What's so cool? I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love hey, that rocks one. are cool. They yeah. are, but I just, I educationally don't I, get it. I had pet rocks, okay, when I was younger. <laughs> I liked the ones that were showing the layering. Um, it's hard to see if these smaller ones can exhibit that. Oh, actually, the thing I thought was an eel is actually just a cut in the rock. Oh. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> You see how a rock yeah. made you think it was an eel? Rocks yeah. are cool. <laughs> 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 they could be it anything. Got me there. They, they could anything. be anything that you so. put your mind to. <laughs> Very true. Uh, how about yeah. is this one too huge? Uh, probably. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's a cool yeah. one. Um, maybe something in this ridge area, like yeah. here, maybe. Yeah. Looking for angular kennels, right? Actually, I don't know if you guys can get in there. I don't there. know if I can get in there, yeah. though, is the issue. Yeah. That's over here. It's really interesting to me how many dead corals we're seeing at the bottom of this ridge. Which makes sense, but still cool to think about like the refugia that the dead coral skeletons also give like that um lobster that squat lobster we saw was there anything over on this side is yeah i'd like to stay away from this looser stuff and look for stuff you know on the along the base that might yeah. that you can get to that is clearly like it came from this outcrop there's this little yeah little stuff here right and oh. then those ones you got, yeah. yeah. In the center. Yeah, like that. That's a cantaloupe-sized one there. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Uh, this, yeah. Yeah. You want to go? Yeah, let's go for that. Check it out. Yes, we love cantaloupe-sized rocks. I can get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Our optimal rock size. Especially <laughs> angular ones. Yes, yeah. angular and cantaloupe. You got <laughs> us. Um, yeah, keep pointing. bringing the ship back, because if we can get Argus off of the ledge. Uh, might not need it, but then we'll be able to come down. We can't, can't really, or Atalanta, excuse me. Anyone care to explain why we like angular rocks? Well, actually, the angular rocks we were interested in were the basalts, not mm -hmm. necessarily the limestones. Okay, yeah, so it's and, something different. And uh, the reason being it would be fresher. Uh, it, it, it Less If it was angular... The, the the working theory is that it Ooh. it broke free more recently, right. as opposed to a long time ago, and then sat around and got um, altered. This is still looking right. like a favorable rock. Yeah, yeah, it is actually. Okay, uh, maybe give me a few more meters on Atalanta, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Let's come down three or four meters. Oh yeah. You're gonna try and get it without waiting for the ship, but it's a little annoying because Atalanta's up over the ridge yeah and then it looked like i know we're not there right now but i will say it looked like there was a chrysogorgia but a spirally type so that was cool so maybe we would see that after mm. that's good Yeah, so the the sedimentary rock isn't as important that it's angular. Yeah. Do you say uh, there was a certain come up, pattern? Come up three or four meters. 
a certain pattern in those rocks that it uh, when it heaves that you think really stuck out and say that it was this sedimentary rock uh hold that the, the stratification uh, right. you know the, the layering mm -hmm. primarily it's so hard to really know what these rocks are because of the ferromanganese coating on everything so they all look like the same color but you've probably noticed on the rocks that we've collected so far, once Adam cuts them open on the rock saw, they're all different, right? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So they look the same because they're black and coated in mm -hmm. oh, What nice. do you think of that? Ooh, perfect. That's a great Ooh, let's no, that's do a, a little grab. spin so I can get some good yeah, pictures. Yeah, I think that's a good sample. Yes. We so why is up. is the outside of this rock kind of brownish because of sediment? Yeah. Okay. That'll good to go. Yes, that is good. I got enough pictures. What, uh, Thank you. What spaces are free in the bio box? Um, we have uh, we got E, C, and then Lamba. Is only one of the smaller inner ones are open. Okay, that do looks like it'll go in a small one if it gets yeah, in the yeah, right so orientation. We could probably do C then yeah, on the yeah. star box, starboard okay. box. Sample, sample. Sarah, can I see the arm in the... You got it already. Awesome. Okay, box out. Coming out. So C is free? Yes, C is free. It looks a bit big for C. Yeah, it does. Then does it, it shall go in E. It shall go in E. Yes. Will it fit? Yes, I think so. I think it's a little Might be able to rotate yeah, the it. There oh, we go. Perfect. It is an E. Okay, close the box. Jumps, please. So we still have C and we have oh. A as well, huh? And we have a rat tail on Lambda, screen. So. Uh, Lambda. I put this in the wrong way. All right, nice little job. Little thing. That little have we collected thing. any um, push cores? Um, looks like no. <laughs> you want to get one around here? <laughs> <laughs> um, those always are fun. Different area. Do you want to screw, what does this look like for push goring? Mm, I don't think you'll be successful, but I'm happy to try. Uh, let's look in the, look out front again here. I think that I doesn't look I like need. deep to me, but happy to give it a go. Yeah, About let's try one since we're here. Yeah. Okay, sample salvo. Now, Dwight, what is push coring? Can you um, oh, move the ship this back is gonna another collect 10 meters? Uh, keep, sediment keep coming sample. back until we can try and get That's Atalanta off If we preserve there. the stratification of the core, it, it'll be true to the uppermost layers. Right, so the way push cores work, from what I remember, is that basically you just push a tube into the ground and then it preserves how everything is settled. And that's how you can look at um, the age of things, right? Or well, kind of in the ocean that's not. Yeah, mid, you could. These are kind of short um, yeah. cores for age aging. There. Oh, okay. It's, you're looking at the. Oh. Are any of the cores taken? Mm, no, we don't have any push cores. No, this will be the first one. Yeah. Okay. First one of the night. <laughs> Try and do this some justice. It's been a while. So sedimentation in the deep sea is, uh, sedimentation rates in the deep sea is pretty slow. Right. Like yep. millimeters a year. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, if we get a 10 centimeter core, you know, that's potentially, you know, uh, I don't know, hundreds of years, right? Or right. maybe a thousand years yeah. in, in 10 centimeters, right? Right. So um, it's kind of an interesting uh, thing Can to be document. useful, yeah. And a lot of uh, biologists are interested in the um, in fauna. So right. we actually have uh, scientists' requests for push cores. 
Right, right. That's um, because even um, there are a lot of worms that like to burrow in sediment. Yep. Um, and there's also mollusks down here sometimes. Could we also be finding like microorganisms like. Uh, right about here, okay. Yeah. Anywhere. Looks, looks pretty and good. I, if I remember correctly, um, scientists do like to get the cores at the base of a oh, you know, the base that. of a uh, slope like this. You guys get her the arm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the. Uh, it's an ear bone. <laughs> ear hmm. bone slash tooth study over whole cruise. Okay. For the fish and animals that lived here, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. That's pretty hard there. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's moving us about. Uh, oh. Nah. Oh. <laughs> Almost reminds me of taking a straw and like sticking in your soda and just pulling it out with your finger. When top. there's like too much ice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We can try again up on top. Yep. Yep. Thanks for the effort. Oh yeah. No sweat. Um, want me to just hold it for now? Um, no, I don't think so. Cause we want to look around this while we're still on this ridge. I think we want to explore it a little more. All right. So the one thing I didn't do is see about how much that rock, how long Is Avalanche in a good position now? Mm. So a large rock. Yeah, side. it's getting better, but we're out of here in a second anyway. Okay. Um, just leave it. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Just, we'll do it in the lab. Yeah, that's what I figured. So I just put large rock. Yeah, so after we, after we get all these samples, you can watch us in the wet lab process everything and for rocks it's really fun you measure them you take a picture and that's it <laughs> sometimes um sometimes we cut them yes mm -hmm. that's after though mm -hmm. we don't do the cutting we leave that to the geologists yeah that's the fun part yeah i know i have yet to make a rock cutting really session. it's really I need fun to. maybe you can cut the one we just collected <laughs> <laughs> i hope so it's we'll make fun. sure of it it's kind of not, the, the way it's set up, it's kind of not built for short people, hmm. but... It's you, more of like people with I short did arms. It, yeah. <laughs> but if I, I feel did like it, I you can do it. I, okay, good, because I, so. like, <laughs> I feel like we got to make it more for short people. No. We have not been able to, here. we can't get the flush jars. <laughs> no. Because they're so, so high We can get up. you a stool, a step stool. A step stool on the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Please. A petition for a step stool for me and Sarah. <laughs> Non-slip step stool. We were always here to help the vertically challenged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need we need Leela back. She had the height advantage yes. for getting the yes. slurp buckets off. <laughs> so once the rocks are cut, where are they sent? They're either... Um, I think, so Adam has been taking them, so URI, University of Rhode Island. Um, they, they all go, all the rocks go there, actually. Okay, yeah. we weren't sure if anyone else wanted a subsample, but okay. Mm -hmm. Is uh, that? I don't, not on. I was well, going to say, did Impossible Sensing want any? Or we don't know. Or it's kind of dependent on. Yeah, they, they've been collecting their own. Okay. So cool. they, may be, they may be kept separately, I'm not sure, yeah. Noted, noted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somewhere around here there was a cool spiral coral, but I don't know where it is directionally now. But we'll see it when we see it. <laughs> Can you get the pilot cam back up there, or Amber? Do you know how? Oh, what, there it is. Oh, that might be on Little Herc cool. PC. Yeah. Uh, you want to insert the gauges? Oh, I forgot to yeah. get the Thurber okay. cam going. Oh. Okay. The still cam. It. Yeah. <sighs> Sort of sponge on the ledge as well. Oh, oh, perfect. Thank you. Um, and we can get the ship moving if uh, science is happy with that. Uh, 
Well, let's. Are let's, you just want to look on top? Yeah, of the let's ledge. let's stay Sorry. on this ridge for a little bit longer, um, just because there was so much here to look at. We barely. Yeah. So yeah, take it away, Here's Sarah. Uh, I mean, there is a pretty decent diversity on this ridge. It's looking like the top is dominated by plexurids again, which is kind of cool. Kind of wondering why. Um, but there's also probably quite a bit that I'm not seeing that are small. Um, it looks like this ridge is super advantageous, so a lot of these organisms are propagating successfully. Um, a lot of these corals mainly. There's probably other things on it, like I see like a little brittle star, there's probably some sponges, um, probably some hydrozoans. But yeah, lots of smaller individuals. Basket stars at the top are those root things that we saw earlier. Yeah, lots of cool stuff. So for those basket stars, you said it, um, they originate from a center. Yes. Is there a limit to how many arms they can have, or they just keep um, going? So, I mean, they're, so they're radially, radially symmetric usually. Um, it depends on the species. But basket stars are usually the ones that are known to have like bifurcating arms, the like really wild looking ones like these. Um, brittle stars are the ones where you see the typical, like that, this one right here, um, right. where you see the typical five arms. But yeah, it really depends on the species. Um, but normally they will still come out of that same five like region. I see, yeah. If that makes sense. It does. Yeah, so really cool. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen a lot of these yet. That's very cool. Yeah, they look like tree roots. They do. Mm -hmm. Which, they, it kind of functions the same way too because um, basket stars have those, all those appendages on their arms to collect food. Um, yeah, we're coming up on one that's kind of faced towards us. That it's really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, here, yeah, zoom on this guy. That's got a nice yeah, uh, neat configuration to it. Really um, I'm going to move the ship ahead, Dwight, just because it's too far away okay. from yeah. the ridge. But uh, can we go uh, know, 10, 10 meters mm -hmm. uh, on the, on your westerly course, whatever it was, 250 or whatever it was? Mm -hmm. Wow, so fascinating. Yeah, really cool. I'm just I'm really neat. imagining finding something like this in the woods just... Lay on the ground. <laughs> Go ahead and zoom. Oh, that Video. would be wild. Ooh. I really want to get... an ID for these. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that center. Yeah, a really great example of talking about that branching. Mm-hmm. So these... I knew I had an ID for it. So these are most likely part of the Gorgonocephalidae um, family. Gorgonocephalidae. I'll type that in the chat for you, <laughs> Loopy. Um, yeah, really cool. Actually, they might be a little different, but oh, yeah. That's a good, I think that was a good picture right there. Yeah, we should be good to move on because yep. I know we're a bit behind. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah, full wide. Wow, that was magnificent. <laughs> yeah, nice ridge. Really cool. Whoa, and that's a big word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> See, this is why I have trouble pronouncing things. <laughs> um, but this might be a good time to plug that this expedition is partially... One of the goals of this expedition is to um, navigate lots of uncharted territory of the deep sea. And we are currently right outside of the... Um, we're in the Pacific Remote Hey Mike, let's island. go look at this dead yeah, skeleton right. again. Yeah. The Pacific Remote Islands. We are right outside the monument. We're not quite in it. We're in the exclusive economic zone or EEZ. And this area is currently up um, for a marine national sanctuary proposal. So if you have opinions about this, you can give a public comment and it, yeah, it'll be um, considered uh, and I believe go ahead that link, zoom in. That link is in the first blog. Yep, there's also a link to it in the status post on our homepage. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, so, okay. Ooh. Wow, so I cannot tell what this is um, just because. Is this the most zoom that we can get? I can get a little more. Okay. So, kind of hard because it's 
really dead. Rest in peace. All right. But yes, yeah, some sort of huge, huge old coral that just toppled over one day. Um, there's some colonization, it looks like, maybe. Can't quite tell by some other corals. Maybe what's left of it that's alive, I think, actually. Yeah, like this uh, kind of pink, pinkish, you see? Yeah, yeah. Those, those are polyps yeah. there, might yeah? Have been, yeah, might have been a really big Chrysogorgia. Huh. Maybe that's something that's growing after. It looks like it's part of the same. Yeah, it looks like it's part or, of it. Uh, same colony. Like just to Maybe the right um, where we were, you saw the the delineation where there's a stock I, that right it's still. It'd be nice if you guys could try to look around. Maybe zoom out and look around for where the base of it is. It, uh, yeah. If anywhere. Sure. Is, buried in this, um, is it all one giant? coral that broke there's kind oh of a God. big piece over there it's i might be able to get to the yeah, other side of it, wild. And look at it. <laughs> wow so um another little is the ship fact. still coming oh we finished that move another 10 meters so Good. another fun fact is that deep sea corals sure. grow really 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 slowly so to see something of this size um is really really cool and also for size reference, those two green lasers in the middle of your screen, those are 10 centimeters. So 10 centimeters might not seem like a lot, but most of the corals we see are that size. <laughs> um, so this is kind of phenomenal. But wow. Yeah, someone in the chat says that they could be cover covered in an encrusted sponge as well. Maybe. And, and that yeah. it might not be Chrysogorgia, but maybe that other word you said earlier, Inalopsamia. Inalopsamia? Yes. I, yeah, I can't quite is tell. This, is this where the base was, maybe? Um, perhaps. I can't quite tell. That hard coral specifically to me looks a bit more knobby than what we're seeing right now. Third polyps look a little bit bigger to me. Um, and given that it's a the suggested coral is a hard coral. You would see that in the skeleton. So not sure, but maybe, maybe. I'm not an expert. <laughs> we'll have to get some expert opinion on this when it's a reasonable hour. Will we give a good educated guess? Yeah. Um, but yeah, can we maybe get a zoom if we're able? Yeah, go ahead. Yep. But yeah, Ooh. you're the biology person here. Me and Dwight just know the rocks. Okay, okay, so it looks okay, like... that does look like the bottom. So there's multiple... Yeah, this is a really big... It looks like this was... It almost looks like this there's could multiple, be where it was attached. Yeah, so there's like attachment here, here. I don't know if people yeah. online can see it where I'm circling, but there looks to be like at least three attachment pieces. Um, I'm curious whether these were all together or whether a current kind of just blew them to lay together. Probably just got way too top heavy and. Oh. oh. Can we zoom in? Magicora. Right. Good morning, oh, Steve. So it is a. Yes. Good morning. So <laughs> this is a scleractinian. It is a hard coral. So closer than I was to the person in the comments. Um, thanks, Steve. So this is a hard coral. Um. Madripoor oculata. Really neat. I have not seen a hard coral yet. And this is actually one of the corals that I kind of did a little bit of um, genetic work with. So cool to see it in person. Um, so see if you can find some more of the live tissue on it. Uh, yeah. Do we, I don't know. I guess we, what a sample uh, these are, the thoughts of, or is that a um, basket star? <laughs> um, no? That just looks to be kind of, um, maybe actually. Yeah, looks like this is definitely a branch. Yep. Oh yeah, there you go. Try to get a zoom on these polyp, on the polyps on the she's as close as branches. That's all I got. Yeah. I get in there a little more. Yeah. Center right, brownish, let's fuzzy yeah so what we're zooming in on here is most likely what is still alive from this coral so um it 
looks oh and it looks like there's some sort of mucusy excrement <laughs> or a sponge um looks like a sponge yeah a sponge um but here's a live portion of this coral um it's a hard coral so these are very um tough so yeah but it's beautiful wow this is wild to me <laughs> um these corals are known to get super big, but I just, I've never seen one, so. How long does it take them to get this big, would you say? Um, oh gosh. I wanna say, yeah, hundreds of years. Um, the oldest corals can be like thousands of years old, so. Um, yeah, but I think we have a good enough zoom on this and good for pictures thank you guys so much yep could you take a small sample or are you just looking to get pictures i don't know if we need a sample this is a pretty well documented species um but it's really cool to look at and it doesn't look like there's any associates or anything on it so other than a squat lobster squat lobster under it yes using it as a refuge which is awesome another um Fun fact about corals is that deep sea corals like these, um, yeah, so deep sea corals like these are also known as ecosystem engineers because, because of these huge structures that they create, they create a lot of different niches for organisms around them. So when they're alive, like the shrimp that we see in corals, um, they and like basket stars and like other sea stars that kind of aggregate on top, um, use them. And then when they die, like the squat lobster here uses it as refuge. So yeah. All right, we've probably taken a long enough look at this guy so mm -hmm. we can uh, get the ship back underway towards the next waypoint and we'll uh, yeah. Take a look around more. Roger. And um, scientist ashore says that it's likely still growing after it's collapsing. So these corals are really, really re resilient. Um, don't know why. It, don't know why it's still growing. Don't know how it's still growing. But really awesome example. I guess thinking about it like a uh, a tree that has a few branches cut off, it'll find a way to grow another branch. Maybe. Yeah, that's a that's a good analogy good terrestrial analogy yep of that i like how we talked about the plants um how people go snipping pieces of plants off to grow <laughs> their own plants um I saw a radial air float by i'm not judging anyone but yeah. <laughs> it's crazy for you just to go snipping plants <laughs> pieces uh, of get plants. a cutting hey, yes <laughs> That's directed towards Paula. She says she's one of those people. <laughs> I Just identify as one of those them. people. <laughs> I have a lot of plants at home. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I always wanted to grow an apple tree. Oh, nice. One day when I get my own yard, I will. doing some communicating online. Um, but yeah, so all these sea lilies, like we've seen before, I really wonder why. Um, I guess, well, I guess they are more widely distributed here because they can grow so tall and there's not really a lot of height for other things to grow makes sense that there's a lot of them. It's like there's some other sea pens. Um, how are we doing with the ship? We're moving. Okay. So I have a little joke for you here. 
Yay, jokes. Yay, Daniel's dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it's that time of night. Yep. It's that uh, time of Gotta night. keep us awake somehow. Uh, what's the best tool in the ocean? Ooh. What's the best tool, tool. in the ocean? Mm -hmm. Sea fans. I want to say fan. hammerhead shark. It is a hammerhead shark. Oh, ah, got, ha, ha, yeah. got one, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, um, can we look at that larger <laughs> coral in the center? I think it's... Uh, yeah, go ahead and zoom. I think it's just another black coral. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Mm-hmm. And then some anemones. And yeah. Yeah, the some fly trap. trap. Some fly yeah. trap anemones, some feather stars, small feather stars. Mm-hmm. Some basket stars. I mean, brittle stars. Probably. Yeah. Another example of corals being ecosystem engineers. <laughs> nice. It was interesting oh, seeing this is a that yeah. earlier in a previous uh, watch, they were showing a, an enemy like that and it uh, folded in on itself. I think it was trying to capture something. Ooh. Oh, man. All right, this is a great look. Thank you. Okay, for what? Um, sponge in the background, but we don't need to zoom in on it. Yeah. Or maybe, might be a Chrysogorgia. Nope, that's definitely a sponge. Where did you see the sponge at? Um, it was to the right, but we've seen it a bunch of times, so... Ah. Just thought to keep moving. Getting into some more sedimenty areas here, kind of veering away from a rocky terrain. And with less rocks means less organi well, less visible organisms usually. Like we said earlier, there's a bunch of um, burrowing fauna, in fauna is what they're called, in fauna. Um, that we just can't see in these areas. But we have some little outcrops of life, which is really interesting. Um, and they all grow on hard substrates. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you can't really attach well in sediment. <laughs> so. The way they grow, you know, they just uh, stick onto the rock versus mm -hmm. like a plant where it digs its roots into the soil. Exactly, right? Two fifty. So I got another little joke for you. Okay, come Bring with it. On. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. So growing up, I always wanted to swim across the ocean. But everybody told me you need to be more Pacific. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, great. A good one-liner. We have still cam action. Still cam action. On our action. 
The still cam just helps us take really great pictures during these dives. Yep, and sometimes you can see those on our website as highlight reels or in viral videos on our YouTube channel. Yeah. And with that, we'll also plug where you can follow us. You can follow oh, us I on Not Us Live on our website oh. or on YouTube, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Might even find us on MySpace. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just kidding about that. How about Vine? Did you say MySpace? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. OG. That's a deep Cheyenne, point. how far away is the next waypoint? <laughs> uh, one second. We just passed waypoint three. Yeah. Or parallel to waypoint three. Talking to me? I can't hear you. Because they're not listening to you, I bet. I missed. Oh. Where's video? Or maybe you're just quiet. <laughs> <laughs> So we're getting into nothing land, or so it seems. Um, it would be really yeah. cool to see some sort of, ooh, there's something sticking Oh, you want me to hit it? The dive one? We are 900 meters from our last waypoint. We're on the dive one now. So there it is. Yeah, that's pretty far away. Um, Keep it moving. We don't have to go there, uh, but let's stay on this move for a minute or two and we'll um, think about it. Um, could we kind of zoom uh, here if we're able? Sure. I think there's something sticking out, but I can't quite see if it's a skeleton or something else. A whole bunch of stuff over here. It's really cool to see them just kind of like on rock islands. Okay, go ahead and zoom video. Oh, and we had a crinoid that was decapitated. Something out here eating them. And yeah, that's just a skeleton. <laughs> Nothing interesting. Oh, actually, there is something interesting. Yeah, I got some kind of little critter. <laughs> but otherwise, not much. Just a shrimp. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. And some hydrozoans colonizing the coral skeleton. It's likely. Or zoanthids. Another primnoid to the left, but yeah, that's, um, looks like this area is pretty, pretty much it. Kind of characteristic of what we've just been seeing the entire dive, which is neat. I mean, the entire, yeah. this entire watch at least, but I think this entire dive as well. Oh, well, I've lagged oh. behind. I'm not paying attention. Okay. Yeah. Not much in the sonar screen either, just little. No, rocks. we'll, we'll have to go beyond this, I guess. Yeah. There's the. Oh no. Thought it was a sea pen, but it's a holothurian, or is it a sea pen? Is it a sea pen? Um, what is it? Probably get some. To the, r the right or the here. left? Because the uh, left would this be. This one, right oh. in front of us. The left looks like some sort of sea pen or. Just a black coral. Can we get a zoom? Go ahead. It's a feather duster. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> Reminds me of a rock candy. Looks <laughs> like. Ooh, I like the gradient. It looks like there's something on the top, but I don't know what that is. Um. Gonna go to our cheat sheet. Yeah. I wonder what that is on top. I <laughs> could be a little arthropod. I don't know. Maybe it's just the top of the thing. Those polyps are pretty characteristic. Let me see if I can see. Sure. 
Looks like Holes a C pen, there. you said? Yes. A C pen. Penatulacea order. But yeah, good zoom. Thank you. I'll keep a look and to see if I can find what specifically it is on my own. So we can aim for the center of the seamount. There's like a little circle of elevation and that's about halfway to waypoint four. So about 450 meters. No, I... <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking of changing the plan completely. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, yeah. Swerve. Um, in just a minute, I'm just getting the numbers real quick while we have a chance. Could it be a, there's a, there's a slope to our north that is gentle, like one that we could actually oh, go to, yeah. you know, we can kind of go down that side because it's not as steep. Yeah, we could go down there. No, I would just go due north pretty much. Due north? Yeah. We're at... Do north would be outside of the radius. Oh, of, of the what ship. we can move yeah. the ship. That's right. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. We can go like 30, and that would still bring us down the slope. I don't. I don't want to go down the same way we came up. Mm hmm. But we could go, um, sort of to 300. Could we go like 300, do you think? Uh, 300's right on the edge, but the winds are pretty light, so I can ask. Or we can go like 290. Can you draw draw a line from the ship at 290? See where it takes us. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, sort of diagonally down the ridge. Yeah. Um. There you go. What about this right here, Sarah? That other C pen. Well. Let's yeah, do right. this. I'd like to get uh, a couple push cores up oh, this while is we're up here. Territory for sure. Anywhere? Like yeah. uh, here? Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, yeah. perfect. Hold on a second here. As long as the, yeah, if the ship is in a good spot for you. Yeah, can we just stop the ship and then we'll just move Herc out in front of Atalanta here? It all looks much the same. I'll just mention that that C pen we were looking at before looks most closely to an anthoptilid, but I don't really know based on the way the coral, I mean the polyps are arranged, and I didn't really see like a bulbous sac at the bottom, so I don't know, definitely a C pen though. Ooh, can we look at this thing? Looks like another feather duster almost. It's yeah. something different. And I've been waiting for this moment. For all your life. <laughs> <laughs> Is it all right for me to zoom in? Uh, oh. Yes, please, if you're able. Uh, waiting for pilots. Oh. Yeah. And I think they're muted right now. They can take their time. Logistical things are being figured out. All right, 
video, you can zoom in. All right. Oh, never mind. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I was really hoping it was a relicanthid, but it's not. I think it's, it's just a regular not. old tube anemone.